Anyone can learn to draw, and any artist you look up to, whether it's your favorite Italian Renaissance man or your favorite Japanese anime man, they were not bestowed some great divine gift of talent, no, they worked for it. Never really was anyone just born magically knowing how to draw a portrait, knowing how to paint, knowing how to draw, no, they worked for it, and they worked really, really hard, they studied every single day of their lives. So whether you want to be uh, the next Michelangelo, or you want to draw cute anime girls, let's get into what it takes to make a good picture. Everything has its basis in the fundamentals of art. What the hell are the fundamentals? Well, does your art look like this? Then yeah, you need fundamentals. The fundamentals are like the basis to drawing your picture. You could compare it to needing a foundation before you construct a building. And in drawing, your sketch is your foundation. The fundamentals are often said to consist out of these things. Construction, perception, perspective, composition, anatomy, gesture, color theory, and rendering. Does that sound like a lot? Well, just sit down and listen, because once you have learned this stuff, you don't have to relearn it. Let's go through the three most important things as a beginner, and then we can quickly go through the rest. Perception. When you draw hands, do they look like this? Well, that's because you're not actually drawing what you see in front of you. You are drawing the symbols that you see in your head. This is called symbol drawing, and it means that you need to let go of what you see in your head when someone tells you to draw a hand, an eye, or human being instead draw what you actually see in front of you with your own eyes next time you draw an eye try to let go of all preconceived ideas of what an eye looks like because it's not a ball inside another ball it's a thing construction a lot of people start drawing by drawing the outlines but that's not very helpful when you instead construct things using shapes by using construction you will understand the structure of what you are drawing and it will be easier for you to draw the same thing again from memory whether you want to draw a car or a cool guy with a sword, everything can be built up using construction. If you can draw a square, a ball, and a cylinder, then you can basically draw anything that exists. Gesture. If you want to draw a character, then the gesture will make or break whether the character actually looks alive or not. If you draw characters who stand up straight like robots, then it will just look odd. Real people don't actually stand like this. So by practicing gesture and figure drawing, you will be able to, over time, instinctively capture how humans act or interact with each other. And now a quick summary of the rest. Anatomy. By using what you have previously learned from construction, perception, and gesture, you will be able to draw a human body. And maybe it won't look good, but as long as you push yourself, you will be able to better yourself. Color theory. Color theory can be quickly summarized as understanding how color combination works. As you start to paint or maybe do master studies of great works of art, you might find that colors are not always how you perceive them to be. You can get better at color theory by observing nature or studying your favorite art or your favorite photos. Rendering. This is commonly called shading. This is the act of painting and making something look like a form. You can get a bit lost when you start painting things over and over again, hoping something will happen, mindlessly drawing, mindlessly painting. Instead, try to think through each stroke you do. Perspective. Perspective is being able to represent a three-dimensional object. Everything has perspective, and it isn't just being able to draw the depth of a building or a landscape. The perspective should also be applied to any character in that space as well. Composition. Composition is the arrangement of the image. It's organizing how the viewer sees the painting or drawing, the flow of how the viewer's eye moves from object to object or immediately sees the focal point, the object that is meant to draw attention. Composition is also arranging the image so that things aren't too close or too far apart and making sure there aren't tangents that stick out or are too distracting. Hey, what do you know? You actually know all of the fundamentals of art now. Isn't that weird? I, I understand all of this can be really hard to take in at first. You don't need to attack everything at the same time. And you don't need to practice all of this stuff at the same time. You can take one by one one thing, practice one thing, and then move on to the next. There's no hurry. A lot of people just jump into drawing without understanding these fundamentals. A lot of people don't even know about the fundamentals. I didn't know for the longest time. Now you are ahead of all of those people. Even if you have never picked up a pencil before, now you know better than some people who already have. So while we're at it, I'm gonna throw in some advice. You want to draw a duck? Go ahead. Draw a duck. Draw this duck right here. Whoops. Now it's gone. Draw it from imagination. I'm waiting for you to draw the duck. Oh, you're not doing it? Well, well, guess what? You failed. You failed at drawing the duck. Good job. 
Wouldn't it be unreasonable for me to expect you to draw a duck completely from imagination? That's why you need to use reference as much as possible. This way you can draw whatever you feel like, you can put your own spin to it, but in order to do that you need to understand the structure of what a real duck looks like. A lot of advanced artists are able to draw ducks completely from imagination, but only because they've drawn so many ducks before from reference. Also no, reference is not cheating. Don't draw lines like this. It looks very insecure and makes your drawing look shick and scratchy. Take your time and learn how to do confident lines in one stroke. Practice just drawing straight lines over and over again, because in time that practice will pay off. Don't get too caught up with details. If you start off a drawing and immediately jump into details, then you might find later that, oh no, the rest of the drawing doesn't work anymore and I've spent all this time doing this thing that I now have to erase. Along with that, detail is probably the least important thing of your drawing. A well-constructed drawing with a lot of good fundamentals but no detail is a good drawing nonetheless. On the other hand, a bad drawing with a lot of detail is just a polished turd. Now you know a good portion of what you need in order to start drawing, but maybe you don't even know what to use to draw. So start off with pen and paper, it's the cheapest option, or a basic tablet, size small or size medium. I find that large size is often too big. Along with that, getting expensive equipment won't make you a better artist. Art skills transfer from medium to medium, but there is no magical thing that will make your art better. How long it takes until you get good depends entirely on how much effort you put in. You could sit and draw for an hour every day, and that would be 30 hours of effort that you put in every month. On the other hand, this guy over here, he, he is drawing 3 hours a day, and he's getting 90 hours a month. You can go at your own pace, but the time and effort that you put in is what you get. You can start drawing at any age, you could be 10 years old, you could be 60. It's a skill that you learn, it's not a magic age that you start from. If you need a reason to draw, then the reason is it's fun, and that is enough. But along with that, it's also very rewarding. And in the long run, it's a bit more meaningful than, say, playing a video game and raking up imaginary points to get a level or something. You can make money from art. A lot of people use it as an extra thing to get extra cash as a hobby. Plenty of people make their living from art. If you're a complete beginner, then I would recommend that you pick up pen and paper and draw whatever is on your desk. You draw whatever you feel like. You will fail, it will look bad, it's okay, you will learn from your mistake. Once you want to move on from that, you can start with gesture drawings, at least that's what I would recommend, and I'm going to link a bunch of sites in the description and videos and stuff like that. All of what I just said might seem like a lot to take in, you might feel confused, you might feel like you already just want to hand yourself in and give up. Well, almost everyone who has ever drawn has felt the same way, and all of the great artists you look up to have made thousands of thousands of mistakes and thousands of bad drawings. But because they were able to push themselves and do better, they did better. Don't get too attached to what you're drawing right now, because you're still learning. And things will get easier the more you try it, you will meet new art friends, you will get critique, and it will help you, and you will push yourself further. Thank you for watching this video. If you have, if you are a beginner and with any questions or struggles or maybe you're an artist who wants to share his beginner experience, go ahead and comment below. Like when I was starting drawing, I would take a break every hour just so I could sit for a while and think through if I was wasting my time or not. And then weeks later, I realized, hey, I haven't thought about giving up for like a week and that was like a big accomplishment for me. Um, <laughs> like the video if you found it helpful. And if you didn't, then please do leave a comment on why, what maybe you would like to add something. Again, thank you for watching and keep up the good work. Bye bye!